So it's time to let go of the unnecessary. Let your leaves fall. Hey guys, John, sitting out here on the back deck on this beautiful day, and I wanted to hop on and talk about, you know, these leaves behind me, these beautiful leaves, these fall leaves behind me. You know, trees are amazing. Trees are incredible. They grow these leaves to collect water and, and sunlight and, and beautiful. And then when autumn comes, the leaves don't no longer serve a purpose. What do they do? They shrivel up, they fall on the ground. They become the nutrients in the soil that help the next leaves grow next year. So the, by stripping away that which is unnecessary, they actually are growing more. They're growing bigger and stronger. It's the same thing with you in your life. What's unnecessary? Well, is, it, is it necessary for you to struggle your entire life with the victimhood of your past? Is it necessary to, to live in this moment focused on lack of abundance? Is it necessary to focus on that person having been the love of your life when in reality they were only the love of that part of your life? You know, the leaves fall when, it's, when that part of their life is over. They fall, they become the nutrients in the soil. The things that fall away become the things that help us grow. You know, I have been <laughs> divorced three times. It was they are the three of the greatest growing experiences of my life because I learned so much about myself and who I am and what what I can do and what I can accomplish and what I can what I can live with and what I can live into. I've learned so much about remaining myself and being true to myself. I've learned so much about when to let things go. And I've, I've said on multiple videos lately that I'm purging my house. It feels so good to purge all these things that I've been carrying with me for so long, many of which I haven't touched in years. But I find someone who can use it, and if I can't find anybody who use it, I just get rid of it. I donate it. I give it to thrift stores. And if, and if it's actually worthless, I simply throw it away. But getting rid of those things allows that space that has been left to be filled with new things, to be filled with new experiences, new beliefs, to, to let go of the anchors of the past and, and to come here, to drop my leaves and allow them to let me grow forward and bigger and stronger, to create new leaves that I can then drop when, I, when it's time to drop them as well. Life is a perpetual action of growth. But the idea of dropping your leaves, dropping the, the, the things that limit you, things that you're done with, the things you have no purpose or need for any longer, dropping them. I, you know, recently I've been doing my, my videos in my studio, and my brother is, is building a studio of his own in Delaware. And as I look at my studio, I'm looking, what, what am I using in here? And I've been sending boxes and boxes and boxes of studio equipment to my brother in Delaware. And he's building up an amazing studio down there. So by stripping it out of my life, I've cleaned up my life. I don't have all that clutter in my studio any longer. And my brother's down there building up a studio. His new leaves are coming in. His new leaves are growing and taking him in a new direction. Just like my leaves have fallen and are, are becoming the nutrients in the soil, my, I feel my videos are getting better. My, my production value is getting stronger. And that's all because I've stripped away. I've gotten rid of the equipment that doesn't really work as well as it could. It worked great for the time that I used it, but now I'm, I'm on to something new. It really comes down to that idea that when you strip away, you are literally creating something new and better. And let your leaves fall. Let your leaves fall because they are <laughs> the, the nutrients that grow your life forward. Strip away that was what doesn't matter. Let go of that person who was the love of your life. Realize they were the love of that part of your life. And that you can cherish that forever. But the, that, that belief that they were the love of your entire life limits you from the possibility of something new, something better, something greater. You might end up meeting somebody who you love equally or more. But that is not a possibility as long as you believe that was the person with the love of your life. You've got to drop that leaf. That person who was the love of your life would want you to drop your leaf for several reasons. 
but mainly so you can grow, so you can move forward. Because that's the important part. If they were the love of your life, then they loved you. Then let them go so that you can love again like they would want you to. So my thought on this is really pretty clear. You know, all the extraneous stuff of your life, all the anchors of your past, all of the things that make you believe in lack, you know, your parents' beliefs and things of that nature that made you believe in lack, all of those people who told you you weren't worthy, all of those people who told you you couldn't achieve anything, those are just your leaves. Let the leaves fall and, and start growing new leaves the way you want to grow your leaves. Just grow them the way you want and be the creator of your tree. Be the creator of your tree of life. Right? Create, create that life and strip away. Let the leaves fall that don't, that don't live in the, into the life that you're creating. Because the life you're creating is, is your choice. And it's no, you're no longer a victim of anything in the past. And the things that are unnecessary can happily go away. And you'll feel so much lighter. You'll be much more enlightened because you no longer have the weight of those things holding you down. Strip away. Come back to your bare branches and, and watch new things come into, into growth. Watch new buds start to form. Watch new leaves start to expand and live into this new healthy life of you as your own choice, your own belief, without the weight of all of those leaves holding you back. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.